Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. So a couple of days back, I posted a story where I asked you to ask me questions about me and you guys had a lot of questions. So I received around 370 questions. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take out the most common questions and I'm going to divide this video in two or three parts and I'm going to put like a 10 questions set in each video so that means it just gets a little easy to see so this question is actually by the same person and he has asked two questions so i'm just going to answer that thing so do you often like to travel to new places and chill out sometimes i love traveling at times with the job and everything it's not possible nowadays but i'm soon going to go on a trip so that is that and chill out sometimes well uh, i do chill out a lot but i don't know what chill out means and your senses like is it drinking partying or something of that sort because i don't do that and what are the things that you actually enjoy doing during your free time except the professional stuff so honestly it leaves me like a very small margin to do things like that so i usually like to read books or go to some cafe or something and have some me time so that is what i like to do do you see yourself in the next five years now a couple of people have asked like 10 years five years three years so i'm just going to say an average of five years well i I hope to see myself more happy because that's something I'm clearly sucking at right now because with the entire circle of working, studying and everything, it leaves with a very small margin to you know do things that you love and those are the things that actually make you a lot happy like traveling, meeting your family. So I'm not able to do that but I guess in the next five years it will be a lot more settled, a lot less chaotic. The phone you are using right now. So I was previously using iPhone 6s and I have used that phone for almost four years of my life. Now I'm using iPhone XR. What's your opinion on marriage? Well, I think marriage is a beautiful thing provided it is happening with consent and to a person you love or respect. So yes, it is very important. It is something that I see myself getting into in the next five years. So definitely a very positive opinion on marriage see yourself having kids um i get this a lot i get this a lot and i don't know why i get it from guys i i thought maybe women can ask such questions that do you see yourself having kids uh honestly i don't because the more i have started growing up the i have started to you know push away the thought of having kids there's nothing wrong with it but it's an option it's something i don't see myself doing and I know a lot of people are going to get offended, especially the ones who usually say that after I'm done studying, I want to get married and be a mommy. I clearly don't want to do that. So I don't see that thing as for me. And yeah. What do you prefer, the Indian culture or the Canadian culture? I definitely prefer the Indian culture because even though the Canadian culture is very warm, I have just been here for like eight months and I have lived my entire life in India. So obviously I'm more inclined towards where I have lived where my roots are, where my parents are. So definitely that culture, I see that culture way more than I fancy the foreign culture. And also the fact that Indian culture is very vibrant from the food to the people, everything, there is like a variety of things. So I just love that. And there is a question that comes to a lot of people. It actually comes a lot on the YouTube channel because they see the videos. So this question is, you kind of do a lot, YouTube studies, part-time job, subject Inc and university job. How much sleep do you manage to get? Okay, so uh, between everything that I do, it happens on a daily basis, except YouTube, which happens on like alternate days or like once in four days. So I shoot a video, then I edit a video and upload a video. So that's like once in four days not, but the rest of the things are literally every day. So I managed to get a sleep of five hours or six hours. So it ranges from, I sleep around 12 and I wake up around 6 or I sleep around 1 and I wake up around 6. Now to some people it will be like sleep more, chill more or something like that. But I honestly working this like working this much. I like to stay a little motivated and focused. I cannot imagine sleeping for 9 hours, 10 hours a day, waking up at 11 o'clock, then taking a shower, then starting my day. I really cannot imagine doing my life like that, be it now or be it some way in future. I think that is just a doom's life, so that's something definitely not for me. What are your political beliefs? Now this is a vid this is a thing that literally deserves like 12 to 13 videos and each video will have a disclaimer that don't get offended. So I usually don't get too political on my videos because I have a lot of political opinions. I'm very strong opinionated about them. I have huge debates about it. So I prefer not to say it on the digital platform where so many of you are watching because each one of you thinks differently. Is always going to get offended. Someone is just going to see like a negative point of the video and start barking on it. So I would rather not speak about it 
because I honestly believe that opinions are given in a place where everyone is open minded so that they are able to take it but clearly that's not the case a very friendly person i'm not i am not the friendliest person on the planet i'm not someone you can easily come up and talk to i'm not the most approachable person i'm very helpful i'm very polite i'm very kind but i am not someone who tolerates bullshit stupid jokes idiotic stuff that goes around talking here and there giggling on nonsense stuff that is something i really don't do or that is something that i do with strangers so i'm not a very i'm not the most friendliest person on planet i'm just going to put it well, like that mean. to put it in a nutshell i am not the most friendliest person ever do you like to do a collaboration video regarding infosys um it seems very lucrative it seems a very interesting thing but i don't want to do it because i personally like to have the space to myself where i'm just giving my opinion and i have created the space for my own sense i don't want anyone to you know sit on the side and say yeah 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 chum in like that i don't want to do that i also don't want to be the person who chums in and says yes yes that's what happened no i'm just going to say my own story and you can always say your own could you please share your skincare and diet um diet i really cannot share it because i'm not the best person i don't have a great eating or lifestyle and everything but i do snack very constantly so i can definitely say of what i eat in a day but diet i won't share it like a like a diet diet but skin care yes there is definitely a video coming up and my exams and everything is done so i can finally start shooting a lot more this one advantage you have to come to canada which you did not have in india i can actually say it too one where people are going to get offended again it is the reservation system it is the referral system in canada if i want to work i am a fair candidate for everything be it my education be it my jobs i don't have to worry about the quota or anything that 49% or 51% is going to go in the other direction all i have to do is submit my resume give the interview and if i am the best person for the choice i'm going to get it and the second thing i really really like about canada is that it, it has been 8 months and i have been sick just once and that too when the temperature went from 2 degrees to directly minus 20 degrees that was the only time i felt sick have you ever thought of getting back to infosys uh a lot honestly because for me that place has given me a really good kick start i agree it does not pay you that much like the product based company space and there are a lot of people who constantly crib about infosys but for me infosys was a really good starting ground i met some really cool people i learned a lot my managers were pretty nice my team was amazing so honestly i learned a lot during the three projects and the tenure of my entire infosys thing so i would definitely want to go back if i'm given the chance how old are you i'm 25 i recently turned 25 so yeah how do you speak english so fluently even i want to talk like you um it's not something that comes overnight it's uh, it's something that comes with you know a lot of practice so when i was in school it was compulsory to for us to speak in english otherwise we had to you know drop down a penny in the charity box which is again a good thing that actually kept us you know motivated the fear of giving away our money kept us motivated to constantly talk in english and the other thing was that i used to read a lot and i always used to see the cartoon network pogo and everything in english i know i missed out on a lot of funny stuff but it just happened 